Hello everyone, this is pip install python full stack developer engineer. This video specifically is going to be focused on the python programming language and plotland dash which is probably my favorite uh, framework to build and innovate within. Um, ideally I wanted to give resources and tools and insight uh, through my YouTube videos on how to become a better developer, uh, but also to shout out other projects uh, that are creating and innovating and adding to what is this amazing community. Uh, so with this video, I wanted to highlight five uh, different projects that have been released this past month uh, that could be useful into building and innovating on top of. Uh, so with this, I want to talk about a new component library that has entered in the Plotly and Dash ecosystem. There are currently only probably three, um, you know, component libraries. Uh, you can, I guess, talk about uh, Dash HTML, uh, which is, you know, out of the box, comes with Dash, but gives you the ability to edit and create uh, within, you know, Plotly and Dash HTML. Um, then it evolved into Dash uh, Bootstrap components, which is a great, um, you know, library. Anybody who has worked within HTML, typically the next step is Bootstrap because it allows you to structure your code, um, size for different screens, uh, so that you can, you know, resize for mobile versus a tablet versus desktop, uh, and then to basically put your components within rows and columns, and it gives you some, you know way to style it uh, to create something more professional. Uh, this evolved even further into what is one of my favorite Dash main time components. Uh, great project all around. Highly recommend looking into it. I use it on practically every project at this point. Um, and big fan, big fan. Uh, so the next and most recent uh, person to release something and new on the market is Dash Blueprint Components. Uh, there's also a great documentation that is, you know, being created with this uh, that gives you an understanding of what this actually is. Uh, but this is a component library uh, for you to create React-based UIs uh, and toolkit uh, for you to just innovate on top of and to design your applications. Uh, so we love to hear that and see that. Uh, and there's some noteworthy components within this project that nobody else has created. Uh, some of them are, uh, you know, for example, the tree component. Uh, this is one that I attempted to build myself and release, but I just gave up and was tired of messing with it. So it, it's always good to see someone else, you know, jump in and say, I got this and to actually build it out. Uh, so this is a great way for you to create, um, you know, folders and objects within those folders and to show that within your application. And you can add callbacks to this and to have functionality that could uh, be innovated and created into uh, an actual production level application. But this is just one component that would be needed into building something really impressive. Um, but there's a bunch of other components within this, you know. You have the uh, collapse, you know, uh, we have uh, one of my favorites is the menu. I thought this is a very elegant way to create a menu within your application. Uh, but uh, you have a drop down menu, then you have other menus inside of that drop down menu, and then other options within that menu. And bam, you get a full feature menu uh, that you can use to create uh, within your application. Uh, of course, you have cards, uh, you have call outs, uh, buttons. There's a lot of different. Um, options within this project. Toast, uh, tool tips, you know, on hover, see different stuff. Um, really cool. Uh, another great resource is the date time. Uh, they have a, you know, date time picker. So you can, you know, select from the date time picker. You can go in between a range. Uh, so right now it's just this and uh, dash main time components, which have a really great date time picker. Um, this is also by time zone, so you can select by time zone. Really cool. Another option is the uh, select. I thought this was pretty cool uh, where you have a search functionality. So if I do like 12 angry men, that's going to show up. Uh, and then you also have the omni bar. Uh, this is, you know, uh, just a pop up for the same search functionality. So you can, you know, see how it searches and it's a really great way for you to add more functionality into your applications. Uh, so yeah, all around big fan. Really love seeing this type of stuff. Um, 
So let's jump back into it. Uh, there is another um, good documentation project that we can kind of throw out here. Um, and it's a new way for you to create forms within Plotly and Dash. Uh, so this is Dash uh, PyDenetic uh, form. is a Python package that simplifies the creation of forms in Dash, the popular framework for building analytical web applications. With this, you can easily create forms with data validation. So you can specifically create forms with simple intuitive syntax, uh, validate forms data with PyDenetic, ensuring that it is correct and promptly formatted, easily handle form submissions, and incorporate data into your Dash applications. So you can install this with a simple pip install dash pinetic form. Uh, just to kind of give you some examples, uh, this is what the forms look like, which look fantastic. Uh, you have uh, dash main time components use of this, uh, so it expands into dash main time components. Uh, you have uh, fields and modals, so you can kind of see this. Um, you have field list, which is you know a list of forms and this is how it's laid out so to show that form right there um, it's relatively simple you just kind of create a class um, you show what you want for example you have name and species so name species um, and then the for the other one you have users you know where you have username and pets uh, and then within the, the modal you know you create it like so so this gives you different ways of you know showing this and you could do list you can do accordion you could do modal and it kind of formats everything with you uh, you can add you know new uh, forms live like this you can delete forms like so so it, it's very uh, interactive which I really like um, another way is to show you is creates a you know a dictionary based on the results and uh, based on the form itself uh, so this is a really useful way for you to uh, gather information from your user just wanted to show that and share it with you but you can find more information in the description down below I will link this specifically so you can go to the documentation and I will also uh, link the associated form post uh, with each of these different components that I'm sharing with you so Highly recommend checking this out. Uh, could be useful in your project to create forms and to make sure that they follow a proper syntax so that your data doesn't get all distorted. Next, we want to jump into uh, Dash Socket IO. So, just to kind of show this in its full context, I created uh, two different examples of this. Uh, I really love maps and it's kind of cool to see this because it allows you to interact with one um, application and it relays to anybody else that is currently on that application so that's kind of what socket IO does uh, to show this live if I make edits to this map by creating a random cluster it relays to the other application so it, for example if there's one user on the left and then there's another user on the right that's on a different computer they could see the actions that are being taken by the user on the left really cool another way that this could be used is by creating a instant chat log or a chat bot or whatever you want to call it but I was able to uh, build out this example of how that would work and how far you can kind of take it and kind of you know show you some uh, ways that this could be used uh, so just a simple text you know if you want two systems to be able to instantly talk with each other uh, you could say you know hello world with this example and it will get sent and you can see it on the other application you can also do images so I can embed an image here I'll just do a gif why not so I'll embed a gif and send it and there you go pretty cool uh, then I can go into code block and let's do it on this side for example so I could do x equals hello world and I can send it get sent to the other one so you can also see uh, that the person on this side, this is their uh, ID, and on this other one, it's this ID. So these are two different instances or two different people talking within the same application, and you're having you know instant updates to show uh, what they are saying. Uh, another you know 
way that I was able to build this out was just by showing that you can also use uh, graphs and you can, you know, uh, have a way for people to not only have conversation, um, but you can have them interact through graphs, uh, through code, uh, through images, and you could create something, you know, totally new uh, for people to communicate on your application instantly. So that's a pretty cool update. Um, yeah, I really love this all around. Uh, great project, uh, big fan, uh, and I think I have, uh, this is what uh, the forum has, and, and there's a good conversation on it, uh, and I'll link this in the links down below, uh, but then you get some more insight into how this works and what people were saying about it, and maybe even introduce it into your own application and build with it. Uh, so great project, uh, really appreciate the work that you did, uh, Reynolds. Um, so let's jump into the next one. Uh, this one right here is a rich text editor. Uh, this is based off of this component, MDX editor, uh, which allows you to create a uh, rich text editor for Plotly and Dash. Uh, there's currently only about three of these on the market. So this is like number four, but it's just great to see. Uh, this has a lot of capabilities. I really like the way it's designed. You can create rich, you know, code blocks. Uh, just to kind of give you a big overview, this is what it kind of looks like. Um, so, for example, these code blocks or this table, you can add to the table or you can remove from it. Uh, you know, you can have these example codes which turn into a sandbox, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can create code examples and you could change the language from uh, you know these are the options but uh, really great uh, you also have a, a difference mode where you can see the differences over time and then you also have a uh, source mode so you can get the readme uh, basic example of your rich text editor really cool I love this type of stuff um, so yeah happy to see this uh, new component uh, be released and I thought it was noteworthy and worth sharing um, let's jump into the next one. Uh, so standalone app executable rather than hosting. So this is a cool project because most Dash and Plotly applications, you go to a URL to get to that application. But this developer, um, every force was able to create a way for you to launch an executable. Uh, so instead of going to a URL, you can give them a packaged application where once they click on that packaged application, they can save it to their system and it's just able to load up within its own application rather than going to a URL to see the application that you've built. So this is pretty cool. I like this a lot. I uh, could see how this could be useful. Uh, would be cool to see this expand. Um, but right now it works for Windows and it works for Mac from my understanding. And uh, he wrote up a really good readme file on this and he posted on the form and I thought it was worth sharing. Um, so with this, these are the five uh, best projects to basically come out this past month. I think that they are fantastic all around. Really great additions from component libraries to new ways of creating forms, rich text editors, a uh, new way for you to interact um, you know, with multiple people on an application instantly through Socket.io. And then a standalone executable. Really, Plotly and Dash is a place that is actively evolving and there's a lot of innovation and great work being created in this ecosystem which really um, has me excited and looking forward uh, to the next round of developers to come in and to build on top of the hard work and creativity that has already gone into this framework. Last quick update I'd like to talk about is Plotly and Dash is recently having this new initiative uh, where they have Figure Fridays, where they offer a data set for you to create and innovate on top of that data set to get practice in and to better learn the Plotly and Dash framework alongside a bunch of people. Uh, so they are doing this as a weekly initiative uh, where they're going to be releasing that data set and your goal is to build an application or a Plotly and Dash graph on that data set and you know just share it with the community and it's a great way for you to engage with uh, the Plotland Dash community and for you to learn. Uh, so with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.